Okay. Um, I am so tired today that I feel like I want to light myself on fire. Um, and I have kind of been struggling with energy all week. Um, and I'm fairly confident it's because I don't follow my own rules when it comes to certain things. So one of the first things I told you when we started this cleanse was this was not the time to make any athletic gains, right? So you should be resting and nurturing and slowing down and really giving your body the opportunity to recover and heal. And I'm not doing any of that. Um, I had been in Europe and Mexico. Like I was, I traveled a lot this winter. And when I rolled into this cleanse, I was ready to really focus on mindful eating and um, be consistently clean in my diet. And I also hadn't been to the gym in like a month and I hadn't been doing any running really. So I was feeling the need for all of the things, which is very common with my personality for most of you who know me. And I'm kicking my own ass. Like I am so like so tired. Um, so uh, I am going to go for a run today, but mostly because I've had a kid home with me for two days and I need to get outside. I also spent like 11 hours in front of a computer yesterday. So I know myself and even though I'm, again, going against what I know I should be doing, I, I also need to get outside. So uh, I'm also going to make sure I take a long Epsom salt bath and a nap today. Those are literally on like calendar in for me. That's if it's not on my calendar, it doesn't get done. So a bath and a nap are on my calendar for the day. Um, I'm also going to get organized around dinner because one of the things I don't like about this cleanse is that I have to prepare a meal for my family that I then don't sit down and eat with them. So uh, I'm really on the fence and I kind of want some feedback from you guys. I like doing this at least twice a year. Um, I, and when I say like, I mean that in air quotes because I, I go into this cleanse kicking and screaming every time. And so I made a list of like wins and, and challenges that I've had and the wins outweigh the challenges by a lot. And really because all of my wins fall around some version of how good I feel. Now, aside from me being super tired, one, I'm going to start my period. Two, I'm not eating enough carbohydrates. I know that for a fact. And maybe I just am not eating enough in general. And um, so that's all on me. That's not the cleanse. I'm, I'm, I'm aware of that. Uh, I'm also super stoked on this little break from alcohol. Um, my husband doesn't drink. He's been sober from alcohol for almost 10 years. Um, we're not big go out drinker kind of people, but I'm a regular consumer of alcohol. And it doesn't serve me. I keep trying. You know, I'm like not a quitter, but this cleanse is really kind of like sealing like the deal, putting the nail in the coffin and alcohol is just not awesome for me. So I really want to leave this cleanse with a more of a mindful practice around my consumption of alcohol and really kind of limit it to maybe two drinks a week and see what that does. The other thing I, I plan to do is I'm going to continue eating from the yes list and the no list. Um, and probably continue having one liquid meal. The reason, it, with the exception of coffee, coffee is coming back, um, or coming at me anyway. Um, that's going on the yes list for me. So, uh, yeah, my allergies, I have zero symptoms. And a lot of that is probably because it's like never going to be summer here. It's going to be eternal winter. So the trees aren't flowering or anything like that. But, uh, yeah, for those of you who suspect you have food sensitivities, um, I'm going to do a complete separate video on that. So don't feel like I'm glossing over that, but really I want to, I want to know, um, would you all be interested in doing a different version of this that didn't follow Alejandro Younger's liquid breakfast, liquid dinner, but it really just focused on the yes list and the no list, which is essentially an anti-inflammatory diet with a process of reintroduction so you can identify food uh, sensitivities. Curious, does that sound cool for next time?